Pseudo means fake or similar. And your fewest moves every time you make a pseudo block, you can solve that entire block in just one more move. Now there's one rule for what counts as a pseudo block and what doesn't. This is a pseudo block because we would have a solved two by two by three, but one entire layer of it is off. This is a pseudo F2L minus one because everything is solved except for this slot right here and one layer is off. This is not a pseudo block because this pair is the part that's off and it does not make up an entire layer of this two by two by two. And this is a pseudo block because it is a two by two by two, but one of the layers is off. Anytime you make one of these, all you have to do is switch to the opposite scramble. In this scramble, we have a pair here and its edge here, so we can make a two by two already. And I need to solve the white red edge to here. And instead of spending a couple of moves putting this here, I could just notice that this edge is already solved. Or if this edge wasn't solved, I can go ahead and solve any of the other edges along this equator slice. In other words, the slice parallel to this square. In this case, I got lucky and this is already solved and this is a pseudo two by two by two. So now before continuing, we should switch to the inverse scramble to solve this block. So make sure you know how to do scramble switch or NIST. But here to switch to the inverse scramble, we will do the reverse of what we just did. So L prime D prime, and then do the inverse scramble. Now, once you've switched to the inverse, you will find that you can always make that block in one move. And here you can continue on the inverse, or once the block is solved, you can switch back to the regular scramble. For this example, I'll switch back to the regular because there's some good stuff there. So of course to go back, we were on the inverse, so we reverse all the moves there, which is just now B prime, and then do the regular scramble. And after that, apply the moves we had on the normal scramble. So now we still have the two by two by two block. From now on, I'll assume you're comfortable enough with switching scrambles that I don't have to explain how it works anymore. All right, so from here, I'll quickly go through a little bit more of the solution. We can make this block right here. And then next, what I notice is if I wanna continue on with the regular block building that I taught in my block building tutorial, which means make this square or this square or this square or this square, I don't have to do that. I can make any square I want and make it a pseudo block. And in this case, the first thing that jumps out of me is this pair and this edge. If I put these all together, it would make a square right here, which doesn't actually combine with the block, but I'm going to make it anyway and combine it with the block. So I can do that like this. And then this makes the square, but then I've destroyed part of the block. So just move that out of the way and restore it. So this is a pseudo F2L minus one because this pair here isn't solved, but the rest of the first two layers are solved except for this. And this entire layer is the only thing off. So from here, I can switch to the inverse and solve it in one move. And I'll let you try that for yourself. And that leads to a 14 move F2L minus one. In the description, I have an example that is a nine move F2L minus one. And obviously there was some luck involved, but the only reason that was possible was because of pseudo blocks. And for some of them, I show further continuations for a full skeleton, which I'll be talking about in a later video, which is the best way to end your fewest moves solve. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.